Welcome to another exciting episode of Geekazine Video Podcast. My name is Jeffrey Powers. How you doing? Um, I hope you enjoyed the audio podcast we have on Wednesdays. And of course, if you want to get a hold of me, you can do so. Geekazine at gmail.com. Or you can give me a call on my phone line, 608-807-4379. You know, last week we talked about uh, about the, the computer itself and, and the parts inside. I thought I'd uh, delve a little bit more into a, in a, a funner part of opening things up and looking at stuff. And that's this hard drive right now. That, here, this hard drive is an old, uh, what was it? It looks like a 11 gig, I think it is. Um, where is it? Uh, the whole point is that it's uh, it's pretty much shot. <laughs> so it, we can we should be able to open this puppy up and uh, and take a look at it. Now we've got to read the warning labels, and the warning labels say warning, product warranty void if you op- if you remove this label. And of course, if I take my handy dandy knife and break into the label. What do we see? Da, 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 da. We see, well, we see part of the hard drive. This is usually, uh, usually when they they put stuff like that in there, what it is is a vent system for the hard drive. Now, I don't really care too much for that, but sometimes with these, they also put screws underneath here, so you don't go opening them up like this one right here. Set that that way. Close that out. And of course the screw. Now I took out the majority of the screws, which were here, 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 and here. So we'll take out this last screw. And we'll set that with those. Set those out of the way. And we'll take a flat-edged screwdriver here. And we will pry open the case. That one pretty easy. And uh, sweet. Okay, here's what we got. First of all, you have the bottom side of a hard drive, which has the, the little electronics and all that other good junk on there. We have the back end, which is what you normally hook up to the computer. This goes to the ribbon cable right here. We have the jumpers we talked about last week to make it the uh, primary hard drive or secondary hard drive. And then over here we have the power. Now, what we have here is the actual drive itself. Now you can kind of see me in the mirror. Hello. <laughs> so basically what we have are what are called plates. We have the needle. And if you think about this like a regular record album, you've got, you've got the idea. So um, all you have to do is a bit well basically what it is 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 the plates these plates right here which there are i don't know if you can see this there are two plates if i can angle that right yeah there are two plates here one two sometimes there's three plates sometimes there's one plate sometimes there's multiple plates and then in the middle of the plate you have the uh you have the needle basically that's this thing right here now the needle runs on this little doodad right here which is basically one big magnet holding down the whole thing in a little copper thing so what would happen is that the needle would push back and forth as the plate spins that is basically how your information gets stored now like i said this one's bad so there's, there are many reasons why a hard drive will go bad um, one is the needles will uh will will stop working another is that th- there's a big scratch <laughs> on the plate um another is that uh y- you magnetized it i mean if you put it if you put it next to a big magnet it will definitely cause some damage so let's see if we can get this oh there's screw there we go a little bit tough but doable At any rate, okay, I'm trying not to get the light in here, and you're seeing a little bit of the desktop, but anyway, 
We have the plates, as you can see, my fingerprints are all over this plate now. Nice. We have the needle, which is this thing right here. A little copper wiring for the magnet part. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's what a hard drive has. And this is what stores all your data. Now, <laughs> you should be really, really cautious when it comes to a hard drive like this, because I pulled this puppy apart. And uh, this is pretty much it for this hard drive. But, you know, if you had your hard drive, you know, you had your your brand new hard you got a brand new hard drive, and, and you got all your data on it, and things happen, and then uh, you don't have a hard drive anymore. So just wanted to show you a little bit about this. It's actually pretty cool. And the best part is I can take these plates off and then use them as rear view mirrors on the computers. <laughs> I've always decorated my office with a opened up hard drive just so people see what uh, what is going on there. There is one more thing I wanted to show you before uh, before we ended this episode, and that is these the magnet itself. Um, this is a pretty powerful magnet. In fact, this is uh, multiple pieces held together by the magnet, and uh, I usually use these for any type of harder if I need if I need a powerful magnet to push it open. So let's just pull some of this stuff apart really quick. You have uh, the separators, spacers. <clears throat> That's how difficult it is to put pull these apart. That's how powerful this magnet is. Watch this. Just like that. And I'm going to need the screwdriver to pull it apart. <laughs> so... Definitely not an easy task, but there it is right there. That is that whole piece right there. And it was just held together by two little magnets, two powerful magnets. So what that did was, uh, going back to the hard drive really quick, what, the, what basically what happens is when that needle is moving back and forth, the magnet is telling the needle how to move back and forth. So, anyway, just pretty cool stuff. Thought I'd show you with magnets. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's the open opening up a hard drive. Um, you got some pretty cool parts at the end. So, <laughs> give it a try if you want. Um, yeah, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, gigazine at gmail.com. Give me a call, 608-807. 4379. And uh, I will see you here next week for the Geekazine video podcast. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thank you very much for watching. You have a great week.